guys. Just uh Ah, oh, I can't even lose. That is my second attempt to try and do this. I tried to do it yesterday and the batteries kept dying on me. Um, God, the GoPro batteries don't last that long in the cold. The MCs last last about uh, probably half an hour, if that. Uh, just over an hour when it's in the freezing cold. But anyway, I was asked. When I uh, threw up um, giving suggestions videos to do, someone actually gave me a suggestion. I forgot his channel name, but I'll put it down there in the link now. Hey! Let's do bike history! Not everyone's interested in bike histories and what, what all people have had. Um, uh, so why won't be the I'm not the first. Um, I know M13 has actually done this years ago. So I'll do that. Um, I've seen only 20 some videos on, so I haven't got that many bikes to go through. Um, so basically, I passed through CBT in the November 2008, 2008 sorry, and uh, had a Honda SFX50 as my third head. Um, and basically I had that till I was actually 18 years old. In fact, um, I had that until September 2010 when I bought this. Um, and sold the SFX about two months later. Um, the SFX I bought it at 1200 miles and then it got sold at 5400 miles and bought uh, it had been dropped quite a few times by then. <laughs> it's fair to say that I was acting like Valentino Rossi on the bloody moped. Uh, but as soon as I crashed it twice, once in a drought, once in a rain, I thought, yeah, I need to slow down around corners. <laughs> anyway, so I bought this. Um, uh, for September 2010. This is where I was going through college, so I went crewing back every single day on it, apart from over winter. And, um, many fans for Um, let's go with this. Yeah. Oh, it says no entry. I should have gone up Queen Street. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah, come on, you can get over this hill. Come on, goodbye. Goodbye. Go, go, go. <laughs> right. This is turning. Oh, here. Yeah. Right, so I then bought, um, basically I wrote this and my plan was to actually get me a big license and get a bigger bike for the following year, which I did actually. Um, I passed me big bike test uh, the following year in September 2011, yeah, I bought a Kawasaki GPZ 500S. on an 03 plate, which you've now seen as well. If I actually had an 03 plate uh, SFX, uh, this is a 52 plate, I think, um, and an 03 Kawasaki. Come on, Havana Street, this one to be. I don't know how far I'm going. Um, So, the Kawasaki, I bought 20,000 miles. Now, it only lasted me six months because what happened was I was on the way home, and I'll have to explain this story another day, but it's basically uh, a guy pulled out on the traffic lights and wrote it off. 
kind of pretty much wrote it off. Basically, one way with the insurers, they did the damage. Right, so... Anyway, so the bike had... The Kawasaki had been now, sort of, uh, been taken away by the insurers, and it had been gained to about six weeks, so now it's starting to get bored. Of the... Uh, waiting for the, the bike to come back. So there I do. That looks on eBay. And we found an immaculate example of uh, that Suzuki GN250. So we went to have a look at that. Um, the wait. Uh, to uh, went to have a look at the GN250 oh, for sale on eBay. Because I mean, it was only 10 miles away. I mean, it was at Home Chapel, so it's not like it was so far. Um, went to have a look, um, and we had some inkling of actually how much he wanted, because uh, he put reserve on it, and um, so when he, so when we went to look at it, he told us the reserve, because uh, he sort of knew that I wanted it and that anybody else would, uh, <laughs> um. Oh, the other people, two people bidding, um, were just what they call like sellers, just trade dealers. So I'm glad that I actually am winning it. But not only that, he also sold, uh, with the bike, he was uh, getting rid of it altogether. So the chap of buying it off, um, he wasn't, uh, he, that, that was his last buy basically, he wasn't riding it anymore. Um, and he was um, selling, with the bike, a leather jacket, um, boots, and... Um, Love jacket, boots, gloves, and the helmet. Now, the helmet we still have. It's um, I mean, Mum's decided to claim that helmet for herself, <laughs> um, since it fits her hair quite well. Um, the boots I've claimed, and I'm still wearing them, like so. Don't know. They're getting quite, um, and of course the leather jacket, the black leather jacket, I claimed as well, which I wear during the summer, <sighs> when it's dead nice. Today isn't actually that nice, it's uh, maybe sunny but it's cold. So anyway, I bought the GN250 in May 2012, so... I've only had that for about uh, less than a year, not even that. Um, I've done 1,500 miles on it, but uh, Jesus Christ, how much more to go? God, on. Um, I've done 1,500 miles, but obviously I haven't done any since about October. <laughs> Been on all of this all the time because uh, it won't fire up. Oh, I'll, I'll have it looked at that. Um, but it's nearly March, so. Might as well not wait now for the next couple of weeks. I just need one good rainstorm to wash all of this. All the roads of all the rocks out. Which we just haven't had. It's been freezing and no rain. Um, and then once that's done, once it's rain and all the rock starts gone, then I'll uh, think about uh, getting the 250 back on the road and then I'll ride it over the summer. So hopefully you should be looking forward to that, guys. <laughs> there it is, all covered up. Poor 250. It's been covered up for about four months. Three months. <laughs> Poor bike. Ride me, ride me, you won't start.
da 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 Subscribe, comment, like, whatever. Do what you want. I'm not going to troll you. It's a nice sunny day. At least I've been out on the bike. Look how rusty it is. <laughs> well, that rock salt's completely made it rusty. Poor bike. I'll tell you about that damn ding sometime. <laughs> anyway, please.